Thank you for joining me. I'm Alex, and I would like to talk to you about L Brands, which is yet another dividend stock. Now, um, when Benjamin Graham wrote The Intelligent Investor, he was looking at the stocks in the Dow Jones, and of those, 27 out of the 30 were dividend stocks. So they should all be paying a dividend. Um, more and more new stocks don't, but all of these established brands really should. Um, because it's a way to give money back to the shareholders, which is generally what the owners are. So in a roundabout way, pretty much every stock should be paying a dividend, and um, there is very few established companies that don't pay a dividend. So we have L Brands, which own brands as Victoria's Secret, Bath & Body Works, and Pink. Um, all of them uh, good brands. Victoria's Secret, um, very well-known brand, obviously, also worldwide. Um, Bath & Body Works, um, pretty much only US, but um, also a well-known brand. Um, Pink is also a well-known brand. Um, I would also say mostly US. They have a few other brands that I don't know and I don't think will make too much of a difference to the fundamentals of the company. So I chose not to include them here, but um, there's a slightly more going on than what I'm showing here. So we have a price of $20.36, uh, $20 um, up 3.4%, which is over double what the S&P did on Friday. Um, obviously, I don't know how they've done over the weekend and we will not know until the markets open. But um, pretty solid gain there on Friday. And despite that, we have a PE of under 9. Um, PE of under 9 for a retailer is pretty good. Um, I went over Kohl's and Nordstrom recently. Both of them have a PE of under 10. Um, I covered Walmart at a PE of 39. And I've covered Amazon at a PE of 74. So that should give you some sort of reference of... Um, what a PE of 9 means in retail and where they should be. Dividend yield of over 6% is also amazing. Um, clearly, that's not the only reason you should buy a stock, but uh, it's definitely good to get 6% of your investment back every year, um, even without any stock gains. Now, a uh, growth of 9% over a few years or annual growth of about 2%, um, which is not quite accurate. They grew about 5% last year. Um, so that is definitely not great, but it's also not terrible. Um, the, the, the growth of the four, last four years um, for the other retailers that I've covered has also not been great. Um, clearly not that easy for Walmart to grow uh, at a revenue of over $500 billion. Um, Amazon obviously grows at 30-ish percent, maybe even more. Um, so 9% um, over four years, definitely not great. 5% um, last year, also not great, but not terrible. Um, any growth is good growth, obviously. Um, total assets of nine billion, uh, eight billion. Total liabilities of slightly under nine billion. Um, net tangible assets of negative two point six billion dollars. Um, so balance sheet is not looking great, but it's not looking terrible. Um, so for a growth investor, obviously this is not the stock for you. For a value investor, definitely a stock you should be looking into at a PE of under 9. Um, definitely need to make sure that there is better growth potential for the future because uh, an annualized growth of 2% is not good. It's barely keeping up with inflation. If they have some good outlook for the next few years, obviously that would help. Um, but... Um, at a PE of under nine, even even without great long-term growth, I think it's a it's a pretty good investment. So definitely should be looking into that. For a dividend investor, obviously over six percent dividend is amazing. So you should be looking into this as well. Definitely check out all of the brands they have. Definitely check out the individual growth of each of the brands. Definitely check out the uh, revenue and profit growth over the next few years. But um, I think that uh, 
at 6% with well-known brands that will likely do well into the future, will likely do well, well into the future. Um, definitely a, a stock you should be looking into. Um, Recession-proof, I'm not sure about that too much. I don't think Victoria's Secret would be hit very hard because um, as recessions go, rich people don't generally lose a lot of money. It's just the poor people losing their jobs that kind of have to cut into their spending. So a recession always hits the people hardest that wouldn't be shopping at Victoria's Secret anyway or Bath & Body Works, you know. So I think that uh, they wouldn't do too terrible in a recession. So with that said, I think that I'll probably be buying some shares tomorrow, um, today, Monday, um, because I think that it's a solid stock, it's solid brands that um, I like, and um, I think the long-term outlook is pretty decent for them. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. I'm coming out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.